Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Ecology. Today we're going to be looking at Glameow and Perugly. These two are obviously inspired by cats, which means my knowledge is a little weaker here. I'm not a veterinarian, I'm a wildlife biologist. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off, we'll look at the head, just like last episode. These large ears are something we can expect to see here. Glameow and maybe Perugly are likely ambush hunters. They even run when you spot them in Legends Arceus, blowing their covers, so to say. They'll need their hearing to hear critters walking up through tall grass. The sharp hearing also protects them from predators, which are clearly a concern to them in Legends Arceus as they run when you approach. Next up is the teeth, and from here on out, and it's criminal of me to say this after Charizard's episode, I'll be using teeth from similar creatures in real life. It wasn't an issue with Skarmory, because birds sometimes don't even have teeth, and usually they don't have specialized teeth. Glammeow, however, is a mammal, and thus has specialized teeth and Glammeow is only shown with fangs and nothing else. Cats in real life have teeth further back that they use for cutting meat, and we'll get into why carnivore teeth are important when I talk about diet. Glammeow's tail is strange. We don't see it used for communication like cats in real life. Instead, it's used to hypnotize. I don't know if this is specifically to lure humans into caring for them, or if it's used to pacify prey. It could also buy time for them to escape from predators if they fall for the hypnosis. Tails in real life are also used for balance, and it's possible that Glammeow uses it for that as well, but the helical shape would disrupt that I'd imagine. When evolved into Perugly, the tail serves to squeeze Perugly's belly fat into position to make it look larger. They're very aggressive by nature, so this extra bulk helped versus attacks as well as allowing them to intimidate some creatures. They also may intimidate them out of their own nests, which is behavior we do see in porcupines and some other critters. This is also where its twin tails are which I didn't actually find out until watching this scene in the anime for research. Glammeow is shown dancing in ballet with a girl in the manga. This matches up with them using their tails to dance and play like it's a ribbon, which is likely why we see it dancing with a ballerina, as well as why they're used in contests. Glammeows, just like real life cats, claw if displeased. However, Glammeows will specifically hook their claws onto the trainer's nose, which is mostly used when they're hungry. It may also happen when you don't give them the food they want, I theorize. See, cats in real life get much of their water from their food, so if they're not fed wet food, they get unhappy or even unhealthy. It's reasonable to assume that Glammeow and Perugly are the same way. Their habitat in Legends Arceus is coastland with no accessible fresh water. However, present around the area are plump beans, which Glammeows and Peruglies love to eat. Plump beans are stated to be full of juices, so it's reasonable to assume these are how they get their hydration outside of other local meats. Continuing with the topic of a diet, of course the cat is a carnivore. Cats in real life are strict carnivores, Glammeow and Perugly aren't, evidently, but they're clearly selective for ambushing and fighting, especially clear with their fangs. The question now is, what might they eat? Once again, these are just likely targets based on what's around and what Glammeow and Perugly need to eat. There are also plenty of predators around the Cobalt Coastlands that threaten their safety, especially nearby. I don't think these will easily be intimidated by a Perugly, but their pre-evolutions and some of the smaller non-alphas around likely would be. Regardless, some of the Pokedex entries do make it sound like Perugly stands a bit of a chance versus them, especially with the bulking up for intimidation. Predators in real life would rather avoid a fight if given the chance, because a single wound could be fatal. Finally, regarding Pokemon and human interaction, their history with humans is marred in pet ownership. They're of course used for battle as well, but that's less often seen aside from Commander Mars' Perugly. And lastly, Glammeow and also Perugly are seen in Pokemon contests, again rarely. It seems that these are the closest Pokemon to normal pets, and their owners intend to keep it that way. Overall, these Pokemon are mostly pets and are recorded in the Pokedex as such. Regardless, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you'd like to see, be it an episode structured like this or something more unique. Another video will be out in two weeks just like normal. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.